Hi and welcome. Since uh, Microsoft currently doesn't provide you with technical preview ISOs of the very latest builds of Windows 10, I decided to put together a short video on how to create one yourself. My name is Johan, I'm a Microsoft MVP, and if you don't follow me on Twitter yet, or not using Twitter, get on with it and follow me there. Creating a Windows 10 ISO is quite easy. You just need to get hold of the bits and that you do by starting the upgrade process on an existing machine. Then you get the ESD file that is part of the download and from that file you can extract the core setup files that are needed to create the ISO file. Disclaimer, please note I have only tested this with the 9860 build of the Windows 10 Enterprise version but hopefully it will work with future builds as well. Demo time. To get the latest Windows 10 preview build, you simply start the update process by going to the start menu, clicking PC settings, update and recovery, and then preview build. There is a preview build or a new preview build available, so I simply click download now. Once the download is completed, I click install now to upgrade to the latest build. In order to extract the files from the ESD file, you need to have at least one machine that is upgraded to that version, so why not use this one? And after initiating the first restart, I should shortly have a new Windows version on this box. Setup is completed, I just need to remote into that machine again. I'm now logged in and as you can see this is the 9860 build. If I open up Explorer, go to the C drive, you will now see there is a recovery image folder in which you will find an installed.esd file. To extract the content of this I have put together a small PowerShell script. If you go to my blog, Deployment Research, click the Research node, search for ISO, You'll find a blog post that contains a script that does this for you. I have already downloaded that script, so if I go to this folder, here is the script. As you can see, the script looks for a file in that location and it will eventually create an output file in this location. For this script to work, you need to have copied this file from an existing Windows 8.1 ADK. Because currently there is no Windows 10 ADK available. There will be eventually, but not right now. That means in this folder, here, on my C drive, I have copied the OSD IMP file that will generate the ISO file eventually. That means I only need to do two things. I need to open up an elevated PowerShell prompt. Control Shift Enter to get the elevation. Set the execution policy in PowerShell. So I can run script and then simply run the script. And after a while, if all goes well, I will now have an ISO file with Windows 10 in the ISO folder. The export does take some time even if you have a fast machine, but at least because of the PowerShell script, the process is automated. And voila, ISO file created. If I open up Explorer, go to the ISO folder. This is where you find your new Windows 10 build 9860 ISO file. Finally, if you want to learn more about deployment, MDT, config manager, Windows 10 and more, please check out these resources. Lots of good information available.